All right, uh, Coyote's Crusade. The cluster of dilapidated buildings where Coyote told you to meet her appears like the remnants of a public housing project. The buildings look like a cesspool filled with human debris. You stand. You find her standing with Paco on the street corner, eyeing the roofs, the doorways, and the windows. Despite his attempts to engage her, Coyote barely says a word to the three of you as the three of you weave your way through the tenements. She walks purposefully, her new cyber hand flexing open and closed with each step. It's unclear whether the reaction is voluntary or not. Circle around the back of the building, and Coyote jumps up, grabs the bottom rung of the fire escape ladder, and pulls it down. Without a signal, she starts climbing toward the roof. Paco looks at you, worriedly, and starts to climb up the ladder. God damn it, Paco. Don't be a bitch. Let's kill some motherfuckers. Rolling hot. By the way, I finally figured out what does this, uh, that little menu thing. Every time I switch episodes in the recording, it's the same key press as save your game. So, I don't know. All right, anyway... Uh, no sweat. Figured you could use the backup. Alright. Um, listen. I got good news for you. You know Sam's sister Jessica? The one with the contacts found her for me while you were on the way here. Called her and asked her to meet with you at Union later today. Hope that helps. Good job. Alright. Let's get this done. Cousin Gino should be in one of the squats past the door up ahead. I hear there's a whole lab set up in there. From my inheritance, there's usually a lookout watching for cops outside and a guard on the door inside. Like I said... I don't know how much firepower to expect out of these guys, but these guys are nasty, so stay on guard. Wanna just get in, grab Gino, and get out. Smash and grab. Shut up, Paco. No one asked you. Let's do some shit. What up, man? Looks twitchy, his eyes rolling in his head. He scans the three of you, looks past to see if there's any others. Licks his lips and nods, as though going through some internal checklist. Hoi hoi, how you doing today? Good day for a trip, ain't it? Means it whispers in your ears. This guy's a clocker. Trades work time for chips. Part salesman, part lookout. Probably has a signal device for the guys inside. Want to go for a ride? You can forget you're an orb for a while. Worked for me. What kind of rides can I go on? We got it all. We got it all. Yeah, what you want? You want to do some crime? You want to be bad? We can hook you up. You don't roll that way? You want to be the hero? Be a hero. You got. We got fairy tale direct chummers love. You name it. You can slag and frag to your heart's content. That's a real thing, right? Slagging and fragging? Doesn't matter what the trip is as long as slagging's involved, right? So hard in our pupils tight like pin pokes. You do snuff, don't you? Too, don't you? Clocker looks around more nervous now. Yeah, maybe for the right price. I can feel it. Feel what it's like to die. What it's like to kill. Right, just let me in, buddy. I'll see you around after this. Probably see you lots. Fucker. Alright, let's go in. There's a, oh, there's a concerned lady. Sinless or free? Ancients. Okay, there's probably the guard that Coyote was talking about um, for the door inside. So let's go here and talk to this lady first. She's probably in her 30s, but hard times have aged her. She looks at you with concern. Don't do it, friends. Don't slot that direct they're selling. BTL are killers. There's most of all. Sound like you know from experience. She pulls her hair back to show you. No implant. Her mouth tightens and her eyes well up in tears. I do. I know. I lost my husband. I lost my son. My daughter. They use her. Ooh. To record. Do you have a card pass to get in there? No, but Jamal has. My son's card. Took it off, it, took it off of him when they, his brain fried. Jamal's down the hall. I don't know if we'll give it up, but that's between you and him. Looking for a kid named Gino. Who doesn't? He's here all the time. Gino's a clocker. Trades his time for chips. So I'm going this morning. Haven't come out, so I suppose he's... Um, I imagine he's riding a dream chip. Gotta go. Listen, lady. Can't. I don't know if I can get your daughter back, but I'm gonna try. We're not talking to Charlie. Charlie's a big nasty man. We're gonna talk to Jamal. He's a little nasty man. <laughs> Alright. Jamal. Give me your shit. What up, man? Jamal has the look of a long-time chiphead. Emaciated, hollow-eyed, but hungry and desperate. What you looking at? Here you have a pass card. You heard right. I got a few. Sell them at a discount. Charge each. Uh, Charlie charges 50, but I can get you three for 100. You know, for... I'm going to use the dead man's money to pay to make things better, so no big deal. Not to me. All right, Jamal, you piece of garbage. I'm done with you. Hey, Charlie. 
Arc with an expression of boredom and one milky eye. He drones through this standard pattern. Need a pass? 50 million each. 150 for the lot of you. Come and go as you please. You can chip up there and we'll keep you safe while you ride. BTL chip costs are separate. Um, about last about three hours. Prices vary. Check those inside. Got our passes right here. Monotone. Great. Have fun. Maybe we don't have to shoot Charlie. They really did a good job with the environments in this game. I mean, look at this. This is really cool. Because one of the things that kind of stinks when you're playing the tabletop on um, in Shadowrun is it's really hard to sort of keep the, 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 the world, like, beating on you all the time. Because, I mean, well, things do suck. I, you know, descriptions of levels and areas kind of break down to feet and inches because when you're running, that's sort of what you need. Whereas here we have the whole experience. All right. The entire floor of this tenement has been given over to the chaos of technology and squalor. Across the room, a chromed-out Decker argues loudly with an armed thug. They abruptly fall silent as they turn towards you. Shotgun-wielding thug squeals in panic. It's the crew that took out Stevie J's place. I told you it'd be only a matter of time. Hell yeah. Man with a cyber deck he speaks calmly in a heavily digitized voice. You messed with the wrong BTL lab. Oh ho. This is a Yakuza operation. Profit push of the button, I can make these tweakers into my own personal killer puppets. You're fragged. Oh, really? No chip, no civilian casualties. I have a concussion grenade. Better than fragging the tweakers if they get caught in the middle. All right, where's the fucker? There's the fucker. Yakuza Decker. We're going to go and dick him up real good. Okay, so hold on. Chiphead. BTL operator. She's a nasty bitch, so we can kill her. Chiphead. Wait, wait, wait. wait because the, no, because they're chiphead, chiphead, chiphead. Okay, so there's that. All right. So if we go... Here, ice this clown. Oh, I can't do anything special. All right, just shoot you. Oh God damn it, Paco! Get a real boy gun for fuck's sake! All right. Yeah, hit a home run with him, Paco. All right. Um. All right. Then we're gonna ignore the chip heads. We're gonna go around. Probably to right there. That seems good. Yeah, there. Nice miss! Point blank with a shotgun, you idiot! Stop sampling the product, Jesus. Alright. Don't kill any chip heads. That guy's got a machine gun. Probably not a druggie. Who the fuck are you? You have a sword. Alright, no, 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 no lady over here. We got Yakuza Mage. Oh, fuck. Alright. We're gonna... Can you double shot this thing? Kneecap? Aim shot. Can hit adjacent targets at ranges of 6 or greater. Doesn't... Does it do more damage? No, it does the same damage, but let's just hope. It's got 30 HP. Yeah, well, we're gonna hit the mage. Really? He needs to get out of here. Oh, I can do it again! Or I can miss really bad. That's cool, too. Um, can I rapid fire? Full auto. One half or normal damage. Minus 15 for Sid. Use his food. Yeah, just kill that guy. Not dealing with any fucking spells today. Paco, do you have a gun? Do you not? You do! Paco, you're a big boy! Alright. Let's, let's, let's fuck up some shit. Get in there. Yeah! No, no magic today. All right, this guy is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass to fight. What is this? Holy shit. All right. The chip heads are still... What are they doing? I don't know. All right. That's not particularly good. Wow, minus 10 hit points per round? I'm gonna be fucked in like two turns. Okay, um... Shoot. Alright, um... Gotta ice the shaman. 
Gotta ice the shaman. This is not a good fight to be in. Can I attack? Yeah, I can. Oh, he can shoot now because he's a big boy. So let's do this. Not bad. Um, I don't know if we can I finish him this time, though. We just pump action to this guy. Zoom in! Increases accuracy. Alright. Uh, <laughs> ah, great. Alright, so, no. I'm not even taking cover on the right side, and the dude is totally canyon. Oh, shit. What did he just do? Did he just hit that chip head? No. Did this. Is the. Is the dude's spirit gone crazy? That's not good for him. Oh well. Sucks to be you. Alright, well, we're gonna have to get over there. And as much as I hate Paco, he is out of ammo, so let's, uh... Let's go punch a spirit to death. <laughs> not happening. Alright, uh, there's a chip head, there's a chip head. There's a bodyguard. Let's get over here. Get right on that guy. Let's uh move up one. And let's reload that shotgun. Yep. Alright. I really wish that lightning on my face would wear off because holy shit. <laughs> yeah, you can finish him all you want. That's cool. I'm not gonna worry about that. Paco. You're doing okay? Yeah, you're doing great, buddy. Um, I don't think you're that good with this thing. Alright, what do we got? We got this. Let's reload it. See how you fare at shooting the spirit that's right next to you. A little bit better. God damn it, Paco. Alright. Yeah, keep decking. Dude, this guy right here. I'm trying to work the beat like skill race. Skrillex. Like Skrillrex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Alright, um, no, ch ch don't shoot the chip head. Hey, let's come around here. He had it, like, right here. Let's do that. And then I can just jack him up with my AK-97. Bad chip head. No donut. Alright, now, yeah. Zap that, Paco. Alright, then, um... There! Get some more... Shing's still got half its health left. Shit. Yeah! Alright. Then we can just finish off to the fucking DJ over here. Get to that bill... Oh, alright. Hey, lady. Turn off the... Turn off the chips. We shit. Shit, shit, shit. No, um Paco, do you know how to deck? Cause to be completely honest, I don't know have any skills in that whatsoever. I mean I'm pure street troll here. I uh not particularly sure that we can She's not going to be happy about that. Just end your turn for a second. Just hold off. Oh, wait. There's another guy. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, you're a chip head, aren't you? Yeah, you are. We're not doing that. All right. Let's put me over here and see if I can do anything with this computer. Nope. That's sad. All right, Paco. Can you do it? Nope. Well, Paco, guess what? You fucked up. Oh. They're fine. Okay. It just took, gave him some damage. It wasn't that big a deal. I... F oh, okay. Hey, we found Gino. Gino's not looking so good. You eject the GTL Gino. Gino's been riding. He gasped, and suddenly his eyes flutter open. He looks confused. Worse than the other chip heads you've seen. His lips are white and chapped. His eyes are sunk into his head. There's some vomit on his shirt and sweat on his forehead. When he speaks, his words are slurred. He's burnt. The hell? You slotted me out? Who fragging slotted me out? Coyote is shaking. She looks horrified. Gino. It's me, Carla. Gino looks at your gazed eyes. No recognition. Slot me back in, goddammit. This is bullshit. I don't want to be here anymore. Slot me back in. He looks around the room angrily as his hand reaches for his implant. 
Cody grabs his wrist and stops him. Gino, no. Cody, be careful. Gino wrenches his wrist from Coyote's grasp and staggers back. Under his shirt, he pulls out a gun. Coyote watches him, horrified, with tears. G Gino waves it around, blinking wildly. Back off. Just get the hell off. Take it easy, Gino. We're backing off. He presses his hand at the sides of his head, his finger still on the trigger. Squints. What the hell is wrong with you people? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help me. Look at this place. Look at me. Looks around the scholar's room, then glimpses his own reflection in the machinery. Oh, God, look at me. Put down the gun, Gino. Come with us. No, don't. You don't understand what it's like out here. I'm naked. I gotta slot in. Get away. He points a gun at Coyote. You're not gonna stop me. I'll frag and kill you first. Gino, no! at rest now. Not now, not ever. She looks at Paco back at you. The angel of death. Real rain is coming to Seattle and it's going to wash the scum off the streets. I'm going to burn every mother fragging BTL shop in the sprawl until they're all gone. Every mother fragging one. Rough. Alright. I think that's enough for today. I'll see you next time.